Hi friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, we learn alcohol, ink, and watercolor together, and occasionally I'll throw in a crafty art DIY project. So I hope that you enjoy this video and that you consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. So now let's dive into it. Hi friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a tiny little sketchbook that you can keep in your bag and while you're waiting for your kids to get out of school, waiting in a doctor's office, sitting in your car, whatever the case may be, anytime you're just sitting around and waiting, you can create little art. So first things first, Let's get ourselves a little tin. I got this at Dollar Tree and throw in a pencil, an eraser, a couple of gel pens, whatever you want to use. I have some Micron pens in here too. And then what I did was I created this little sketchbook. This is something that I used to do for my children when they were little, but I also used to do it for myself. And I would create a tiny little sketchbook like this and while I was in school and I was supposed to be paying attention, I was doodling. And this is just something that I've always enjoyed doing. So you can make this tiny little sketchbook out of a sheet of watercolor paper that you can use for your own sketches. And it's reversible also. So this one started out as a sheet of paper. This is 12 by 9. So the first thing you're going to do is find the center of your paper. So this again measured nine inches. So I marked it at four and a half on this side and on this side. Then the paper measures 12 inches this way. So I drew a line at three inches, six inches and nine inches. And I also marked it down. Then what I did was I took a dotting tool. I put my ruler down on those two lines that I drew here and then I scored the paper using the dotting tool. And I did that on all three lines going down and then the one across. Then I flipped my paper over and I did the same thing, ran the dotting tool against those lines so that the paper folds easily without ripping. Okay, so now you've scored your paper and you're going to fold it both ways, this way first, and then go ahead and fold it this way and run. I don't have one of those bone folders. I don't know what they're called anyway, but I did take a magic marker and I went over all my creases like this to make sure that it folded nice because water paper is really thick. Now, here's another option. This is a painting that I did for a video a, a little while ago. And while it was pretty, it wasn't something that I was going to frame or sell. So I decided to use this. And what you can do is you can take um, just a, a clean sheet of watercolor paper and do this, or you can make some uh, marks on it with watercolor, add some textures, which is what I did on the back side. Or you can use watercolor paper that you used before that you're not going to do anything with. Okay. So now that we've done, we've done our, all our folding, we've decided what paper we're going to use. We are going to take a scissor. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. I choose this way. So I cut through three of these rectangles and the last one is still attached. So you can see here what I did. And then you can either fold it this way, but that only gives you three, three sheets to draw on so I, or paint on. So what I like to do, now I gotta try and remember how the heck I did this. Okay. So I folded one side first, then, I don't know what I did. <laughs> Isn't that something? Okay, I think I got it. Or do I? All right, now I have it. So how did I fold it? All right, so I went like this, 
and then I folded it like this. So that gives me a cute little cover on the front and the back. And then what I did on the back side was that I added some watercolor and I took a stencil and I put it down and I used a brush and I added some pattern on here so that I would have a nice background. But you don't even have to do that. You can leave it just plain. All right, let's figure out how I folded this again. Nope. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I got it. All right, there we go. So I did doodle on these. I wanted to show you. So uh, with the markers and the pens that I had here, I just doodled. And it doesn't have to be anything in particular. Just have fun with it. Some of these are cute and I'm really, I really like them. And others are so-so. So it's a cute little uh, sketchbook that you can keep in your bag. And again, this is pretty big. You can just take a little Ziploc bag and put a couple, a Micron pen, a white gel pen, whatever you want, a pencil in there. And keep that in your car, in your purse, wherever you want. And you'll, you'll always be ready to be creative. So I hope that you gave this a try. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description box for links to the products used. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.